Hi everyone, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. So this coming Sunday is Mother's Day in Australia. And it's got me really thinking about, you know, what the purpose of Mother's Day really is about and, you know, how commercial Mother's Day has, and you know, Valentine's Day and Father's Day and all these sort of days have become, you know, it's become about buying, you know, a lovely gift rather than, you know, stopping and appreciating and showing, you know, respect or admiration towards the person that brought you into this world. Now, I'm very fortunate in that I am, you know, close to my mother and she's an important person in my world and I'm looking forward to celebrating um, Mother's Day with my mother and also celebrating um, myself being a mother um, to Rocco. So the video that I've made for you is, I guess, um, about all the ideas I've brainstormed um, to show you how to, you know, thank your mother and, um, and, and show respect to your mother and appreciation to your mother through effort rather than expense. We all know that it's the thought that counts. So my first tip is quality time. There is nothing better, I can, speaking from my personal experience, than spending time with your child. Connecting with them, bonding with them, listening to them, um, hearing about, you know, their adventures, their journeys, things they're discovering. So, if you can, why don't you just take your mum for a nice walk or sit down and have, um, and make her a nice cup of tea and have a, just a good, friendly catch up. It costs absolutely nothing. And I'm sure most mothers would find that incredibly meaningful and thoughtful and feel very honored and special. Two is make her something. Now I am a horrendous cook. I am absolutely useless in the kitchen. I have zero concentration skills when it comes to following a recipe. But I know that if my mother sees me try and make something for her, as disgusting as it will probably taste, she will actually appreciate and acknowledge the effort that I've gone to to try and make her something. Because when you make something, it comes from the heart and it comes from the soul. And it's, you know, again, it doesn't actually cost much, but it shows you the effort and the thought and the time that you've taken to try and do something special and honor your mother. A third suggestion is a picnic. Now, obviously, this will cost a little bit of money, um, but you can still make some of the um, food as well. But again, taking the time out um, from your day to, you know, get a rug together and some food, you know, your mother's favorite foods and sit together in a park, not just necessarily with your mother, but with your other family members is a really nice way of honoring and respecting your mother again. And if you are a shocking cook like myself, you could also maybe just go and buy a bottle of wine and some fish and chips, which would be a lot easier for someone like myself. <laughs> My fourth tip is to take her to get a pedicure or a manicure. Now I have this saying, um, the power of a pity. There is nothing that lift for me personally that lifts my spirits than seeing um, my freshly painted toes in a bright, vibrant color. Um, instantly makes my feet look a lot more attractive. I feel more confident um, wearing sandals, um, obviously, especially during summer. And it's just a really nice way um, of, you know, making yourself feel feminine and attractive again. So if you're stuck for ideas and, you know, you're looking for something that's reasonably cost effective, taking your mum and actually going with her to get a pedicure and a manicure is a lovely way to bond and a, a nice way to help her feel better about herself. Suggestion number five is to help her organize her wardrobe. Now, so many people find it really overwhelming when they know they need to sort of look, go through all the items in their wardrobe. But if you offer to do this with your mum, it could actually be a great opportunity to laugh and find all sorts of funny old pieces that she's been collecting over the last, you know, decade or a couple of years. You might even find a few pieces for yourself if you're really lucky. But it's, you know, it's such an overwhelming task. And if you know you've got someone there to help you um, break down the wardrobe and, and help you cull things and, and um, help you put together new outfits that you hadn't originally considered, again, it's a lovely uh, opportunity to spend time with your mum and bond with her and, you know, get creative together. Idea or suggestion number six is breakfast in bed. Allowing your mom to not have to get out of bed and look after the other family members, but you know, taking some time out for herself, for her to recharge her batteries, you know, cooking her, you know, a beautiful breakfast meal that's her favorite breakfast, perhaps a fresh coffee or some fresh juice, 
and just allowing herself some time to recharge her batteries and um, enjoy the luxury of just not having to get out of bed and face the day quite so soon. And my fifth and final tip, which is I guess maximum effort and minimum expense, is to do a huge clean for your mother. So maybe you do a whole entire clean of the house, you know, you do all the laundry, wash all the dishes, get the house in um, spotless condition so that she can relax and enjoy the day and enjoy the luxury of having a beautiful, clean and tidy and organized house. Now that might take a couple of hours or maybe take even all day. But I know for myself with Rocco who makes mess 24 seven, I would be over the moon if I came home and found Rocco had done something like that for me for Mother's Day. That would be the sweetest and most priceless gift <laughs> I think he could give me at the moment, but he's a little too young for something like that. So that's it for this video. It was just a fun video about thinking outside of the box, coming up with cost effective, but very thoughtful and kind ideas to show um, respect and honor and appreciation to your mother this Mother's Day. And of course it doesn't have to be Mother's Day, it might be your mother's birthday or like an anniversary for your um, parents or just, just some sort of special day that means something to your mother. You can use all of these ideas. And they all show a huge amount of effort and creativity and maximum amount of love. So to all the mothers out there, I wish you a very happy Mother's Day for this coming Sunday, um, no matter where you are in the world, obviously coming from Australia. And I will see you next week on either Money Monday or, or and, uh, Lifestyle Love on Thursday evenings. Don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the official Sugar Mama website and YouTube channel. So I'll see you next time. Ciao! <laughs>